Evening, YouTubers. I got something here tonight that's really going to redefine the words electronic crap. You ready for this now? Ready? You sure? It's the G-Pod. I got this one at KB Toys because unfortunately they're going out of business. But that means, you know, I wanted to stop by and see what they had. And that means good bargains. So I got this one actually at 50% off. So this one was uh, two bucks. Wait, can you guess what it's going to copy off of by the name? Hold on. Do, 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 do. It's copying off the iPod. They're naughty. This one's uh, this one's the man saver variety. Funny, exciting game. Innovative design. Hand strap included. Yeah, you can you can see it in there. Not like I really want the thing. Look, it's yelling help, help. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna be yelling after I start playing this thing. Let's look at the back here. This is the man saver game. The man saver should move the. You know what? I'm not even gonna read this. Pause it if you want to read it. Okay, you unpaused it and read it. Okay, great. So there's the description of the buttons there. Now. Before I go ahead and open this up, I'm going to be honest here. This is an honest review. By that I mean, I haven't even played with it or anything. All I did was cut it open so that it's, you know, easier for me to do right here in the video. But I swear to you, I have never played this. Or even opened it for that matter. So I'm about to see what's inside. I'm curious to see if there's more instructions than what's on the back. I really hope there is. Now, look at that art. It's all, uh, it's pixelated. Like, what's up with that? Did they, like, get some old clip art and then blow it up a lot? I don't know. Anyway, oh, by the way, he doesn't look like a superhero. He looks like a villain. Anyway, nope. No extra instructions. That's all you get. I'm going to try to figure out what the hell those instructions mean when I play it. Oh, uh, the hand straps attached to it. Great. Ooh, this thing is, uh... Something a little shaky in there. Uh, of course, like anything else, it feels really cheap. Uh, let me take off the screen protector here. I hate these things. Watch this. This is probably going to be a manhole clone. I'll take that out. Yep, just as I thought. It's a manhole clone. Um, yeah, the Mr. Game & Watch is replaced with the superhero on the packaging. And the people walking across are now cars and trains. Eh, for the benefit of the doubt, let's just give it a try. How do I start? I actually need the instructions. Hold on. Key function. Before the game start, it's like game one or game two. I'm going to guess it's like A or B on game and watch. Right or down, turn the sound on and off alternatively. How can you have the sound on and off at the same time? It's like a paradox. Okay, action starts the game. Okay. Uh, we'll just do game one. Wait. Okay, game one. Again, he doesn't look like a hero. He looks like a villain. Oh, shit. This game moves a lot faster than manhole. Wait a minute. I had that. What the... What the hell is going on? Okay, I know how to play manhole, the original Game & Watch game. This ain't working nothing like it, people. How do I get up there? I want to get up there to... Oh, you press action to... Why did that just transport to the other side? Look, I'm being totally serious. This makes no sense. Why am I warping up and down, up and down? I'm not pressing anything. I can't figure this out. Okay, I pressed action. Now there's a bridge there. How do I get up top? How do I get up there to save the damn car? Go up, please, please. Okay, I, I saved the train. Up, uh, up. Uh, the buttons don't respond. This is a joke. <sighs> That's my last try. I swear. Uh, all right, I'm done. All right, no more man saver. <sighs> but I got another one. I got another G pod. This one is the bubbles. <laughs> Not like bubbles. No, it, it's. It's the bubbles. Like, sounds like a, a really, 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 really bad horror movie. Like, watch out for the sequel, The Soap Scum. Woohoo! Same thing, funny, exciting game, innovative design, hand strap included. Again, I've never opened this. Alright, pause the video if you want to watch, if you want to read this introduction. Okay, read it? Good. Yeah, I don't get it either. Uh, I'd like the last sentence too. Be attention. Uh, my name is Ian, not attention. Alright, let's go ahead and take that out. 
I'm not gonna bother looking for instructions, so there's probably none. Take this stupid thing off. Feels exactly the same as the other one, except it's black. You know, I couldn't imagine walk someone would have to actually give me money to walk around with this thing on my wrist or hanging from my pant belt loop or something for 24 hours. I couldn't do it. Ugh. Jesus, this is going to be like a recurring joke, me burping. Well, that was a really bad rendition of, like, My Fair Lady or something. Okay, so I'm assuming it's got, like, game A and B just like the other one. Oh, I think I know what this is. I know what this is ripping off of. Yeah. Anybody else recognize it yet? I know what they're ripping off of. Nobody recognizes it yet? Give up. It's the old Game & Watch game, uh, Donkey Kong 3, where the idea is to basically get that fish on the octopus's side. I'm on the right side, I'm the diver. So, yeah. I can see where they're going with this. They're ripping off of Game & Watch games. Except this one was, is way worse because it goes really freaking fast. You can't keep up. Donkey Kong 3 was nice and slow paced. I played it on the Game & Watch, uh... Uh, Game & Watch... I f can't remember what one it was. I think it was Game & Watch 4 for Game Boy Advance. Ugh. I can't get it to go past the middle. The octopus is too good. Almost got it. Almost got it. Almost. Come on. Kick his ass. Aha. Uh -huh. Wait, what the... Did that thing just turn into a shark? Oh, wait, no, it was a shark the whole time. I see. When it's in the middle, it's like facing the middle. Yeah, I, that made sense, right? Man, I love this new camera. But yeah, so somehow this shark is lame enough to get caught in bubbles. Okay, I'm not going to bore you guys anymore. In conclusion, these things, what are they good for? Eh, they're probably good for homemade clackers. Can knock them against each other to beat the shit out of them. Die, you evil things. Ah! Fight each other on guard. Hoya. Okay, I'm done. Bye.